Hey crystal lovers, I'm Ashley Levy of the Love and Light School of Crystal Therapy. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about anger. So many of us spiritual workers, empaths, light workers, healers, we have a tendency to want to spend all of our time in what we consider to be the positive emotions. So happiness and joy and enthusiasm and motivation and passion. All these things are emotions that we enjoy feeling because they make us feel happy and they're positive. But we tend to look at things like anger and sadness with a little bit of a questioning eye because we feel like in order to be positive, happy, spiritual people, we aren't allowed to feel those feelings. But here's the thing, you absolutely are entitled to feel sad or feel angry at times. And in fact, by not tuning into these emotions and in effect kind of suppressing them, you're really doing yourself a disservice. So it's not that we should let ourselves be consumed by sadness or anger, but when we have those feelings, it's perfectly okay to acknowledge that we're feeling that way. But the great news is that we can choose to take control of the way that we do feel and transform that emotion into one that is more productive and suits us better. So one of my favorite crystals to work with if I'm feeling a little angry or frustrated to help me accept and acknowledge the emotion and then release it as it's for my highest good is Ocean Jasper. I love this stone. It's so soothing and so peaceful. So if you're feeling angry or frustrated, just holding a piece of this crystal for a few minutes can really help shift your perspective. Particularly if you're like me and you're a fiery sign in astrology, I'm a Sagittarius, so I have a little bit of a fiery energy, a fiery temper. Um, but for me, I just need to sometimes pause and take a moment and check in and find out where that anger is coming from. Is it coming from impatience or something that I need to work on in my own personal growth? Or is it a legitimate feeling that I'm feeling and I just need to allow myself to feel it so that I can fully release it rather than suppressing that emotion that's less than comfortable. The emotions that we view as being negative are often just opportunities for our own growth and it really helps to, like I said, just pause and analyze. Where is this coming from? Is it something that I need to allow myself to really feel so that I can release it and move past it? If that's the case, reaching for a piece of ocean jasper, and it doesn't have to be large like this one, even a little piece will do just fine, can really help you just, again, acknowledge and accept that really feel it, allow yourself to feel it, give yourself permission to feel it because you don't have to be 100% positive 100% of the time. It's unattainable and unrealistic. We're not perfect beings, but we don't wanna get mired down in those emotions and we also don't wanna block them out completely because they are really helpful for challenging us to grow. So reach for a piece of ocean jasper. It really helps you be in the flow of your emotions, but it also promotes release. So just sit, think about that feeling, where it's coming from, and ask yourself if it's something that you need to feel more deeply and sit with for a time, or if it's something you're ready to release and move on from. This way it prevents you from saying hurtful things or taking rash action, and instead allows you time to pause and reflect. Now I know that that's not always feasible. Sometimes in the moment, we can't just reach for our crystal and take a minute. But what we can do is be prepared. If you know that you're a little bit quick to temper, or if you know you're gonna be in a particularly frustrating situation or with a frustrating group of people, try keeping a small piece of ocean jasper in your pocket. Anytime you start to feel those little feelings of frustration or anger bubble up, just reach in your pocket and hold that stone and feel it kind of soothe you. And then later, when it's a more appropriate time, you can hold your crystal and revisit that feeling and what was going on for you at that time so that you really understand it, you meet your own needs and acknowledge what you're feeling, and then you can let it go and release it so that you can move forward in a positive way. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and crystal blessings.